Hello friends, today we are going to break down an important clinical acronym I use for ulcer assessments. It's called TINAM, T-I-N-A-M. This helps us systematically evaluate ulcers and identify their underlying causes. Let's go step by step. The acronym TINAM stands for T for trauma. Ulcers which are caused by physical injuries such as bites, burns, ill-fitting dentures or any trauma. The second is infection. Any bacterial, viral or fungal infections which includes tuberculosis, syphilis, herpes and fungal ulcers. The third is neoplastic ulcers, malignant ulcers that could indicate conditions like squamous cell carcinoma or any other cancers. A for acquired ulcers systemic due to systemic diseases such as autoimmune conditions, nutritional deficiencies or any drug induced reactions. M for metabolic or any malformation ulcers. Diabetes causes a lot of ulcers. So this TINAM helps us to systematically evaluate ulcers based on their origin. This structured approach ensures that we do not miss out any crucial diagnosis, especially when dealing with chronic or non-healing ulcers. For example, a traumatic ulcer might have a clear history of injury. An infectious ulcer could present with signs of inflammation and systemic involvement. This could be a periodontal ulcer also. A neoplastic ulcer often has an irregular margin and doesn't heal as expected. Understanding TINAM simplifies ulcer diagnosis, helps us provide better treatment strategies. Next time you assess an ulcer, think TINAM. It's a game changer in your clinical practice also. So thank you for listening. Stay sharp. And if you like this video, please like if you uh, please like and comment and subscribe. Also, any ulcer which stays for more than two weeks, it has to be sent for biopsy. And this is a guideline. So please follow it. I hope this video is useful. Thank you.